Hello, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if it showed up on your For You page. It could also be a message for you. Um, you know, I do feel like spirits use these messages. They put them on your page as a sign. So, but it is a general collective reading. So you do need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. Let's find out what's coming in for the general collective. This reading is timeless, which means it doesn't matter when I post it. If you end up coming across this for a year from now, that's when you're meant to see it. So it doesn't matter when I post it. What's coming in for the person watching? What's coming in for the general collective in the 3D, not the 5D? What is coming in? in their actual physical existence. We have Ace of Swords, so clarity, victory, success maybe even. Let's find out more. What's coming in? And like I said, this is brought to you by the divine. This is something that your spirit guides are trying to help you with. Or the universe, they're ushering in Whatever this is, or trying to, setting it up for you. Seven of Pentacles. So it has something to do with your craft. Now, typically the Seven of Pentacles, I think on my regular deck, it's like he's planted seeds and he's waiting for the harvest. He's waiting for that last plant to come up. But this particular imagery, it's like he's polishing whatever this is, these Pentacle boards. Um, so he's like crafting something and he's working hard on it and he's finishing it up. He's polishing it. So I feel like it's something that you're doing, you know, he's like doing woodworking here. So it's some kind of craft that you're doing and you're, you're really into it and you're just worried about doing a good job. And maybe you're also waiting for that harvest, you know, waiting for whatever seed you planted to come up. We have the three of pentacles. So this is like also has you collaborating with somebody. So if you're not already collaborating with somebody, you will be in the future. Somebody wanting to collaborate with you on this. So right now, you need to have strength. This says the crone on it, but that's actually the strength card. It's number eight, plus it's the woman with the um, lion. So it's like she's taming that beast. But a crone is, you know, a wise old witch as well. So um, we also have the 10 of pentacles here. Wow, wow. So for now, you need to have strength. You need to have courage. You need to keep walking that path. Keep taming that beast. Keep working on whatever this is. And like I said, she's kind of, in this particular card, it's an older woman. So she's, you know, probably very wise using that wisdom that you've acquired, using the talents that you've acquired. And you're going to get your 10 of pentacles. So you're, this is going to be very abundant for you. Whatever this is, this is exciting. So you're going to have this victory success, this clarity just keep polishing, you know, keep working on whatever craft it is. Like I said, we've got collaboration here with somebody. Um, and he's also, he's, he's standing on this very solid stone. So I think it's going to be very solid. It's going to lead to this 10 of pentacles. It's just uh, security, you know, generational wealth. I mean, that is amazing. That is amazing. And then also... The sun is just beaming down. So there's going to be clarity, happiness. And then I notice here, it's like there's an old man, two younger people, and a child. So it's like that's showing the generational wealth there as well. This is something that, you know, your generations on down are going to benefit from. So whatever you're working on, keep working on it. Don't give up on it. All right, so now I'm going to go into, oh, and I also see six of wands on the bottom staring at me. That's victory. Oops. Victory and success. Maybe I need to take all of these. I don't know. Six of wands, victory and success. People cheering you on. Definitely take that. Let's see. We have the four of pentacles. So that is somebody... 
So, I mean, this is a little different than the typical Four of Pentacles. Usually the Four of Pentacles is you're holding on to something too tightly. So with whatever your manifestation is, you know, release control to the divine now. Don't cling to it too tightly. If you're clinging too tightly, it's not going to happen. That's going to create resistance and it's going to make it tick slower. I see a turtle here. There's like a little turtle right there. And so it's like, it's what's taking slow, making it be slow. So there's that. We have the moon. So, you know, there are things that need to come to light. Your path will be illuminated. And then we have the king of cups. So this is, you know, somebody wanting to, is going to be bringing you this offer. This, this guy's really abundant too. Um, Cause he's eating this feast. He's having this feast here. He's very stable and secure. So I think, you know, this is going to lead you to security and success and victory, but you have to release the grip a little bit. And I do notice that there's somebody at the door. So it's like the minute you release the grip, then, you know, that's when you get the knock at the door. All right, so yeah, and then the sun is on the bottom over here as well. And then on the deck, there was nothing else past that. The, the cards were turned around, so it's like I should take that. The sun, that's warmth, that's happiness, that's victory. Well, not victory, it's warmth, happiness, security. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of sunflowers here, I noticed too. So that could represent creativity. A lot of, there's yellow flowers here, dandelions, and then... Lots of yellow flowers here as well. I mean, there's different colors, but. Um, so the sun is number 19, which breaks down to 10, which is saying you're going into a new cycle. The, the moon here is 18, which breaks down to nine. So you're probably at nine, close to a 10. Plus we had the 10 of pentacles, so you might be seeing 10, 10. But yeah, that sun beaming through kind of reminds me of this 10 of pentacles where the sun's beaming through up there as well. So prepare for some good stuff, hang in there, um, but just kind of release that death grip that you have on whatever this is and just let it happen, let it flow, okay? So I'm gonna go into a bonus reading right now, an extended where we're gonna check in timing. We're gonna ask what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner, and that's gonna give me kind of a, a, a range. Is it coming in sooner? Is it coming in later? Is it even gonna happen in the next six months to a year? Because sometimes these really great cards come out and then it doesn't happen in the next six months to a year or sooner in my extended reading. So we're gonna, but sometimes it does. So we're gonna find out and whatever cards come out are gonna tell us so many more details about what this is, um, what you can expect, timing, just a lot of extra details coming out in the extended. So I think it's really worth getting it um, so if you want to watch the extended, you can go down to the link below in the description box and it'll say, you know, to watch my bonus extended, click here. It'll take you to my Patreon and you'll note that it's like $5 and 55 cents. So it's not even expensive, but that's not even for this one reading. That is for access to all of my readings, all of my extended readings that I've done up until this point and all the extended that I do going forward as well for whatever time period that you pay for. So it also says that, you know, like you'd be signing up for it monthly, but you don't have to keep doing it monthly. You can cancel at any time. Although I truly, truly appreciate it if you stay a Patreon monthly, because that's what's going to allow me to keep doing these readings um, and stay supported and be able to keep pumping them out. So, and, you know, help other people as well. So, you know, your support means the world to me. Every comment, every like, every share, I love it, you know, when you subscribe, that obviously helps my channel grow as well and will help me to get these messages out to those that need to hear them. So, um, and ultimately they say, you know, when twin flames do what they're supposed to do, it lifts, it helps the universe. So why not help the universe? I'm sure you'll get good karma for all that. Um, so I'm gonna go into this bonus extended. If you wanna see it, go down and click the box below. If you want a personal reading, I could do that too. That's where you wouldn't have to sit here and worry about, you know, is this for me? Is it not for me? Or if you have another question, I do past life readings, soul purpose readings. I have some decks where I can get messages from people that have crossed over, or I even did a, a one for a cat. Um, so that was fun. So, you know, I have, I can do all kinds of readings. Go to my website and check out my offerings. They start at $20 and go up from there. 
Um, a $20 reading is a 15 to 30 minute reading, so I can actually get a lot of answers, although obviously the longer reading is the better because a lot more information can come out, the more cards that come out, but it just takes time. Um, so keep that in mind. I will make a video like this and I upload it to YouTube as private and then I would send you the link via email within a day or two, sometimes three. So there's that. Um, so I will see you in the extended blessed day.